So let's start here in Xamarin Studio. I'm going to click the New Solution button here on the Welcome page, and I'm going to go to the Cross-Platform App section, and I'm going to select Xamarin Forms App. There are other project templates here as well. This is used for native applications where all we want to share is our business logic, and then we have some game projects as well. I'm going to click the Next button to move on, and I'm going to call this First App because we're just exploring the project structure here. Notice we then have an organization identifier. This is going to uniquely identify the organization creating this app, and it generally is your company address in reverse DNS notation. So since my company name is Xamarin, the company organization would be com.xamarin. If your company were widgets, then it would be com.widgets, or whatever your web URL happens to be. This in combination with the app name is going to uniquely identify the application to the app store that we place it in. And so make sure that you pick something that's unique to your organization. We can then select the target platforms. Since I'm on Xamarin Studio on the Mac, I only have access to Android and iOS. And then I can select how I want to share my code. I tend to prefer the portable class library approach, but you can also pick the shared library approach or shared application project approach. I'm then going to click the next button to move on. I can then set my project name, my solution name, and where I want to put this project on the disk. And you can see the preview for the folders that are going to be created here. I can also turn on version control. This will automatically add a get folder for me. I can activate Xamarin Insights for being able to monitor my application at runtime. And I can add in an automated UI test project to be able to run in Test Cloud. I'm going to leave all three of these unchecked for now, but you can read the documentation on each of these to be able to see exactly what it does and how to use it. I can then click the Create button to create my application. That's then going to create the application and add all the NuGet packages that are required to be able to run this. Now if I expand these, you can see that I've got three different applications that were added into this solution. I have one that's just the name of the project itself, First App. But then I also have two other projects here, FirstApp.Droid and FirstApp.iOS. These are the native platform specific projects. Remember that Xamarin Forms is just a library to create our UI for us. However, we still need a platform specific project that it will run inside of. And so that's exactly what these are. These are going to be the actual projects that build the executable that you would then upload to Apple or to Google to be able to deploy your application out to the world. Now, this first app, notice it has some packages in it. If I expand this, you can see that the package that we have in here is Xamarin Forms. And it's telling me that we actually have an update available. Uh, we can update to 2.0.0.6490. Now, Xamarin Forms ships as a NuGet package. That way it can be distributed out of band from the rest of Xamarin Studio and all the other Xamarin tools. And so one of the first things that you're likely going to want to do after you create your Xamarin Forms project is right click on the solution and say update NuGet packages. This will make sure to update all the packages to the latest release now notice that we got an error here, could not update packages. And Xamarin Studio went ahead and opened up the package console. And if I scroll to the bottom of this, you can see that it had trouble updating the Xamarin Android support library v4 from version 23.0.1.3 to 23.1.1.1. Now the problem with this is, if we look at the droid package where this happened in, you can see that that's the one library that's still not updated. Xamarin Forms actually uses the Android support libraries. This is how we get support for things like material theme inside of Xamarin Forms. And the problem is, is that Xamarin Forms is written specifically for a particular version of Xamarin Android's support libraries. Google doesn't require backward compatibility as they update their support libraries. And as a result, Xamarin Forms hard codes the specific version that it was built against. And so as you update Xamarin Forms, it may update the Android libraries as well. But because we right clicked on the solution and said update all the packages, it found that there was an update for the Android libraries. However, Xamarin Forms isn't written against this version and so therefore it prohibited the update. And we get an error out of the package console. But this is a perfectly legitimate error. However, it's not an error as far as our application is concerned because Xamarin Forms doesn't necessarily work with this version or at least it hasn't been tested against it. And so we don't want to update to this. And so NuGet actually stopped that update from happening, which is exactly what we want. And so if you get an error like this, just verify that it's one of the Xamarin Android support libraries that was unable to be updated. That's perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about that error. All the other packages were updated just fine. And now we have our project structure to start with.